Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. Uh, did play Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. So if you haven't seen any of those and you're interested, I do have a playlist on my YouTube page that you can look at. Um, this one uh, I haven't really looked at yet. Um, I I, well, I did take a cursory look. It seems like it's got a little bit more depth to it than the first one but let's just start and take a look together and see what we come up with so i'm going to create my first profile and i think all the um, settings are correct and let's just start see what happens Okay, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. In this short tutorial, we will show you the basic mechanics of the game and show you how to sort out your first few jobs. Now you can skip the tutorial here or you can go with it. I'm going to go ahead and go with the tutorial because I don't really know how to play this. Um, I don't know if it's the same as the uh, 2014 version or not. Now, um, immediately the phones, we must be really good mechanics because the phone rings immediately. Do you hear the phone ringing? It could be a new customer. Go to the desk and pick up the phone. Check what needs to be done. So first of all, where's the desk? Aha, right behind me. Okay, let's walk over here and pick up the phone. Okay, orders. In this menu, you can view all your waiting orders. Some of them are locked because you need to have more experience to take them. Here you can take, or if you don't like them, pass on jobs without consequences. New jobs will appear here every time new customers call you. Okay, so we have a job, job description, put in new timing parts, and let's take the job. We're loading a Royal Bianco. I'm assuming that's the name of the car. So we have a desk, there's our computer. Ooh, we got all kinds of learning material there, and a nice comfortable desk, and blood stains all over the floor. Well, I would assume, I would assume, well, never mind. Uh, okay, so here's our car over here, and let's see what differs from 2014. Okay, up in the left-hand corner, we have normal mode, assemble body part, toggle body part, toggle conditions mode, move vehicle, and the phone's ringing again. Open inventory and open repair order. I wonder what the tape is for. It looks like a crime scene, and there's blood stains. Ooh. I wonder if it's marked off because we don't have the ability to do it yet. We don't have the experience to uh, do this yet. That could be. And it looks like we've got different uh, shop. These are different sorts of uh, car lifts than we had in the other shop. If you remember in 2014, we had a pit. Uh, that the cars drove over and then uh, it would lift the cars up and you'd get underneath. Well, not a pit. Well, anyway, let's take a look. Okay, so hitting O gives us our repair order. Here you can uh, see details of your order. If you don't like the job or cannot perform all the tasks that you can always end the job. You will get a refund for the tasks you've already done, but you'll miss the bonus for finishing the job. In future, the orders will be more demanding and you will have to locate broken parts yourself instead of having them written on the list. Please note the minimum part condition bar on the right. It shows you the minimum part condition required to fulfill each order. Okay, so I'm assuming that means that um, if anything's below 68%, then we have to repair it or replace it. Okay, so we're looking for belt tensioner, timing belt, and a water pump. So, let's go and take a look at how that would be done. Uh, if we look at the menu in the left-hand corner, when we toggle over the car, there is a command M for moving the vehicle. So, I think if we had to get underneath the vehicle, 
we could we'd have to move it to one of those lifts but let's take a look under the hood and see if we can get to the engine without lifting it parts disassembly in this mode you can unmount parts from the car each part can only be assessed from a particular section of the car so if you're looking in the wrong place you won't be able to unmount the part always check if the part is accessible by moving the cursor over it if a part is blocked by another part it will glow red when you try to unmount it okay so i'm assuming if it can be unmounted it would be like that it would turn green now you have a left down here you have a look at the part and disassemble the part so first of all we're going to be looking now here's something interesting i don't know if this is going to continue on through the whole game or if this is just a tutorial thing but notice the rusty parts that indicate what problems we're having there's the water pump and there's the belt tensioner so it's green we'll right click on it and hold the button down you don't just click the right see look you have to wait until the circles fully enclosed so you hold it down I'm, I'm punching the button right now if you hold it down then it completes and then the left button the left mouse button unbolts the item okay now we're gonna have to probably take um, the belt off I would assume no oh we gotta take this one off first all right okay so I had to hold down the right uh, uh, mouse button to do that and again that so let's take off the water pump so we have two screws there okay and then let me back out because I don't remember belt tensioner timing belt and the water pump okay so we've got that all right let's go back in the engine and I think I've got everything that we needed to take off now, once we're out of the vehicle, we can um, hit I for inventory. Those will show you the parts that I took off. And so you see the tensioner is way low. The condition of the uh, water pump is bad. And the serpentine belts are okay. So it's the timing belt that we're going to need to look at. Okay, so you can, it's, the camera really moves around quite a little bit. So you can really kind of look at everything here. Alternator, and crankshaft pulley. All right. Timing belt cover. All right, so we need to take that off. I'm assuming we're going to have to take this stuff, off, this stuff off first. So that comes out there. That must come off there. That is now green, which means we can take it off. We have four bolts involving that particular job. And there's the timing belt. So let's take that off. And let's back out, take a look at our inventory again. And there's our condition of our timing belt, which is not good. Now, um, in 2014, you had a workbench that you could go to and fix items. Um, I would imagine that I do not have the experience yet because if I remember, I had to have a certain amount of experience before I could repair things. Uh, here's the repair table. So if I click click on that, parts being uh, repairing. This list shows parts that can be repaired. Remember that upgrading your tools and abilities via the upgrade menu will increase the chance of successful repair. You can fix bodywork parts after upgrading repair tools to level five. So we're going to be able to do body work we couldn't do that in the other game so we could fix this but I don't think we have the uh, 
the, the ability yet. Which means, where's my desk? Okay, right over here. Uh, by the way, the first thing I did when I got into this game was turn the radio off. Because I'm making videos, I don't want any part of uh, of that having to deal with uh, somebody else's rights to the music. Copyright protection type thing. Okay, so we go to the computer. We can go to the um, car part shop, the body part shop, wheel shop. And we can go to the bank for a loan. So you can categorize this. You can put filters in if you're looking at engine parts. Let's try that. And if I remember uh, in 2014, everything was alphabetical once you got in here. That's very helpful. Okay, so we're looking for timing. Uh, so let's go down and find our timing belt. Okay, the serpentine belts were okay. Timing belt cover was okay. It was the belt. Oh. Okay. Timing belt. What? That is not a V8, is it? Um, you know what? I better make sure. I don't want to buy the wrong part. So back to inventory. It's just a timing belt. And then we also need a water pump and a belt tensioner. So we'll go back in and we'll go ahead and get the timing belt. It's $120. Buy that. Gonna go up and get the, the belt tensioner. Did I miss it? There it is right there. Gonna $35 for that. That's pretty cheap. And then we needed, what else was it? The water pump, which should be down at the bottom. Uh-oh. Water pump, R4, R4 water pump. All right, we'll take that. $60, not too bad. Okay, well, we have our parts. Let's go back and uh, rebuild this. We're gonna make the $6 million man. We can rebuild it, we have the technology. All right, let me zoom in here. First of all, we're going to go into assemble mode from di disassemble mode. So there we are in, in uh, assemble mode, parts assembly. In this mode, you can mount parts in their places. A transparent part silhouette will appear when the part can be mounted. Okay, which is must be what that gray thing is. So we can go ahead and put that on. And then, <clears throat> so that's on there. Oh, that's kind of cool down there. All right, how do I put my other part on? Engine block. Engine block. No. How did I get that other part on there? Ah, engine head, engine block. Timing belt, condition, that's on there. Okay, no, it's the cover I wanna put on. How do I, how do I put the cover back on? Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, open inventory. How do I put my um, timing belt cover back on? No, 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 I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it. Um, all right, well, how do I get it back on? Cam gear, timing belt. Engine block, oil pan.
crankshaft, assemble part, not that. Is that is that it? No, that's not it. That's the engine block. All right, I don't know. How do you get that part back on? Parts diagnosis. In this mode, you can check if a part is broken or not. You can also use purchase tools to do this. Remember that not all of the parts can, uh, can be checked uh, this way. Most of them will require use of an OBD scanner or driving the car through the test track or diagnostics path. There's info on how to diagnose each part below in the parts name. Oh, below the parts name. Okay, so this is not what I want to do. Uh, I want to go back to assemble, but what in the world? Why would it not show me? Okay. Okay, I'm kind of confused, so I don't know how to put my part back on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I did something wrong, didn't I? All right, let's put the cover back on. I think I put the wrong belt on there, or I didn't put a belt on at all. Details, you gotta pay attention to details. Let's put the crankshaft pulley back on. We'll put the water pump back in. Put the new one in, not the old one. And then, um, let's see, we need to put the belts back on, I think. Let's see. Maybe. Okay, now we can put the belts on. All right. Put that one on, and the belt tensioner. Timing belt cover, which is already on, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? All right, let's take a look what we're looking at here. Inventory-wise, um, serpentine belt needs to go back on. Okay. Well, I thought it did, but I didn't see where it would go. Okay, we get that. We get that. We got there. Does it go on that? Okay, let's take that back off and see. That's the serpentine belt. Power steering pump, timing belt cover. Water pump, idler arm. All right, let me look at that inventory again. Okay, we have a serpentine belt A and a serpentine belt B. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a little bit more uh, in depth than the other one was. So, we have to.
alternator idler roller or uh, a I think I'm going backwards here. I don't think this is right. Oh, I'm in this is Oh, well, of course I am. Let's go back. I think I goofed. Let's put the water pump back in. And put the crankshaft pulley back in. Okay, and then serpentine belt B. But what about belt A? Oh, there it goes, right there. All right. I needed to put that on before I put the tensioner on. That was the problem. All right, is that it? Let's take a look at the work order or the inventory. I don't have any spare parts so put the hood down and open repair order check 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 everything check job category uh, 60 money money spent on a job 215 bonus for completed tasks 107 bonus for completed job 107 total earned four hundred twenty nine dollars finished job that's not bad Joe wait a minute that's not the profit though right two three four money spent on job bonus for completed tasks uh, bonus for completed job total earned okay that must be earned after the expenses I'm hoping so there we go and we finished our first job. Now, I think we'd go over to the phone and get another job. But I think I'm going to take this one, um, end the episode here. And uh, this was just kind of a practice. And when we come back, we'll take another job. Hope you had fun. If you did, give me a like. Share it if you have a friend that's interested in cars. I think this game's going to get a little more complicated and in depth than the first one. In the first one, you just made some repairs and took it for test driving. I think in this one, you're able to do body work, build a car, and sell the car. So, you know, uh, fixing it up and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, give me a subscription, and I'll see you in the garage in the next episode.